Great to catch up right now, though, with Aztec senior linebacker Andrew Alecki, who had a hell of a week one for the Aztecs in their comfort behind win over New Mexico State, including a first career interception, part of a pick six for San Diego State in the 28-10 win. Andrew, great to have you on the show. Take us through that moment. I mean, how satisfying is that for a defensive player, not just to make the pick, but also to finish it off with the pick six? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you for having me on here. Yeah. So t- t- take us through that, uh, the pick six. Uh, I guess Jalil, Jalil Lecky had some good pressure on the QB, and he was the QB was able to just bobble the ball when he threw it. And I was in the right place at the right time, able to get a block by my boy Cedric Laka Laka, and you know, got in the end zone. It's awesome. I mean, it, it was what a what a way to break open a game when things really looked out of hand. At least from the perspective of people sitting in the stands, up in the booth. Yeah, you know, definitely. look, the Aggies. I, I mean, you fill in the blank. What were they? Was that a a good team? Was that a more experienced team because they got to play week zero and you guys didn't? What What were the Aggies in your estimation? I would see, I would say they were a good team. It's just we were able to have had better preparation, we were more aggressive. I feel like we had more energy than they did coming toward coming into the second half anyways. And we were able to come up top. Senior linebacker Andrew Alecki joining us right now on Extra 1360. Again, a pick six, part of San Diego State's victory over New Mexico State on Saturday up in Carson, California. So take us inside the locker room at the half. You're trailing 10 nothing. Obviously, nobody panicked because you outscored New Mexico State 28 nothing in the second half. But how did you collectively come together to put together a good 30 minutes after after the half? Uh, Coach Hoke just came to the locker room saying, we got to play like Aztecs. And that's just what we did in the second half with uh, zero points uh, coming in. And, man, I can't even fathom how – how lucky, or not lucky, but, you know, how grateful I am that we were able to come on top the way we did. What uh, what have preparations looked like for this week heading into Arizona? What's been this week of practice like? I mean, did that win feel like a win for you guys? Or, or because of how the first half went, did it sort of feel like you were – you you're, you got a lot to clean up, and you're just happy to survive with the W. What was the feeling heading into this work week, and how has it been so far? Uh, so, so much things can be better. Uh, we played a good team. Good team win on Saturday. We can always do better. And this week we came out with, the same, uh, with more intensity, more energy. And I, I feel our team is looking forward to playing Arizona up in Tucson. Yeah, are you looking forward to the environment? Because it sounds like Arizona might sell this game out. Capacity at Arizona Stadium is yes, over 50,000 people. 50, is that something you guys are going to yes, feed sir. off that? Uh, you know, you got to have your own energy. It, it can't, you can't let the fans provide the energy for you. It's got to come from within or your team. So that's all I got to say about that. Andrew, we are looking so forward to seeing it. Uh, it's been a fun ride so far, and good luck the rest of the way, and go get them against those Wildcats on the road for the first time this season. Thank you very much.